Hello, Second Family. Lisa and I are praying that you're staying safe and making the most of this particular moment in history as we're all hunkered down, watching and waiting. And so many hundreds of our church family are out ministering to people in so many different areas, from making masks to making phone calls, delivering groceries, taking care of those who take care of themselves. So we as a church have turned out, but also there's this time out. I know too much time on your hands can be a breeding ground for fear. So I'm delighted to bring you a moment of good news today as we meditate on God's truth during this challenging time of this unbelievable epidemic. I have a friend who owns a furniture store and for every angle her store looks like the cover of a magazine. She shared a story about a family who came in to buy furniture. My friend began to answer questions and help the parents with their purchase while the kids scampered off to explore the store. And after they all left, she passed by a big fluffy white couch. Little chocolate handprints were all over the couch and the melting chocolate even ground in between the cushions. Now the manufacturer of that couch had bragged about a certain fabric coating that served as a protective shield over the soft white fabric. With nothing to lose, my merchant friend took a wet sponge and began to clean the couch. To her surprise, it wiped right off. The beautiful white fabric was completely protected. Well, I had to look this up for myself. The fabric maker's advertising slogan caught my attention. Stain resistant, odor resistant, moisture resistant. We're not a fabric company, but we are a freedom company. By the way, I think this is great. In many ways, that describes the Christian life. Psalms 28, 7 says it clearly. The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusts in him and I am helped. In these uncertain times, we can be certain of one thing. We have a Heavenly Father who is our shield and our Savior. He strengthens us so we can become resistant to the temptation of fear and panic. Now that is freedom. Let's pray together. Father, we thank you for the privilege of knowing you. We thank you that you're with us 24-7 in this time of challenging adversity, but also in a time of family and prayer and friends and really getting to know one another and listening to one another and spending time with one another without all the conflicts that surround us, without those pressing scheduled demands. Lord, may we as a church be a stronger body of believers after this moment and may every family be a stronger family because of this difficult time. We love you, Lord. Speak to us, comfort us, give us your joy. In Christ Jesus we pray, amen.